Hello, welcome to my update, my video update for July 2015. And I know I'm a little late, about one week, so I apologize for that. And it's because I was in Canada for a week and I was visiting my mother. And I'll talk to you more about that uh, later on in the video. Uh, right now, I'm in my photocopy room of my hagwon. And I got a box of melons. My uncle sent me that. And so thanks to my uncle. Anyways, our update for Marketing Korea, what's going on? We had five interviews. Um, we had Sanjay Lee from the Create Wellness Center. We had Adele Vital from Morning Calm Birthing Services. We also had Melanie Buckley, secret agent. We had Rob Ko, founder of KoreanTourGuide.com, and Semel from Renew Me Skin Clinic. So we had a few uh, interviews, so that was good. And we had a few blog posts, about four. One about one is on reasons why you should get yourself onto a podcast. Another one is Facebook marketing to the English-speaking community in Korea. And uh, the third one is the marketing English guy at a medium-sized company. And in that blog post, I talk about my experience working as the marketing manager at a company in Korea. And our fourth blog post is the monthly update. So definitely check out those to see what's going on in marketing in Korea. And I'm continuing to try to get at least one blog post and one video, not one video, but one podcast a week. And I'm sorry because one week got pushed back. We got pushed back for a week because I was in Canada visiting my mother and my parents. Well, not my mother and father, and my brother. And it's because it was my mother's 60th birthday. And in Korean culture and I believe in a lot of cultures. The 60th birthday is uh, a really important event, especially in the past. So I went there with my wife and slash business partner and just relaxed. So we took a week off our hagwon and it was good to catch up with a bunch of people and also eat some food that I haven't eaten in a long time. And um, yeah, I enjoyed Canada. Now I'm back in Korea and here trying to get back into the groove of things so i hope to send out at least one podcast episode a week and at least one blog post so get back on track but that's going to be a little difficult because um i'm in the midst of looking for a new place to live hopefully i can live closer to my hagwon business and it's because the apartment that we are currently living at got sold and you know moving in korea it can be a hassle because they still have something called chunse which is like a big deposit so you need to relay that money and right now the korean housing market um, people are, are tending to sell right now so uh, prices are up and from what i heard prices will increase uh, furthermore because the chunse like the big deposit uh, way of paying for a house is slowly disappearing so that's something to think of and also um, what's his name Dan Yu Dan Ryu from real estate investors in Korea the meetup group uh, comes to mind definitely check out his meetup and I learned a lot just from his in, uh, from his emails so that's something as well so that's for my personal life uh, for my business which is IGL English uh, we're doing okay right now and um, it's summer vacation so um, during summer and winter vacation that's a time where a lot of Hagwons can lose students but they can also gain students because at that time schedules change and parents may have a change of heart they may want to try something new for the kids or maybe they're not happy with your Hagwon business so right now it was a little scary for like a week but we're okay with our numbers and we're actually getting a few more students so good for us right and I'm not currently teaching business English um, so now I have more time to invest in marketing in Korea as well as my new project coming up so I'll tell you more about that but a little hint is it has to do with flowers so I'm gonna take some flower classes and learn how to make flowers, arrange them. All right, hope that's enough. Thank you for watching. Take care, bye.